Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing fine as you are watching the World Chocolate Masters competition, the world's final live from Salon du Chocolat in Paris. My name is Virginie Claes and I will be your host for the next three thrilling days. We are now at day one and luckily for me, I'm having Julie Sharp, Alexandre Bourdeau and Marc de Marquette, and my three professional experts who will be my uh, in my eyes and ears, of course, during this lovely competition as we are having 18 different chefs from 18 different nations battling it out to become that one and only World Chocolate Master. But for that, they need to accomplish six assignments. Well, this morning, the first group of contestants already finished two assignments. So what do you think about uh, the highlights of this morning, dear Julie and uh, Mark? Well, we, we've seen some really great stuff already. I mean, the level for these guys that are going into round two, they've already seen that we've seen some really beautiful creations, nice wow shop windows, and the taste. I mean, you tasted it more than me, Virginia. I tasted them all, I saw them all. So maybe to fresh up our minds and to give you, dear viewers, a glimpse of what has been happening this morning, we have a little recap. Let's watch. Five, four, three, two, one. To your workstation. Hello, everyone. We hope you are doing fine and that you're ready for the World Chocolate Masters World Final Live from Paris. How many kilo of chocolate you will have in total? 120 kilo. 6 times of creativity to become the world chocolate master. Look how beautiful this workstation is. I would like to represent to you my conception of the share. It smells amazing. I would like to take you for a trip to Hungary. What's more Nordic than fresh water? It's pretty fresh. Sable whisky chocolate. Remonté. El tema principal del local uh, love. Yeah, this is sharing. I very enjoy the, the degustation. Look at the amount of uh, chocolate craftsmanship. Beautiful for me, it's really beautiful. all about his hometown, uh, the city of Budapest. Yeah, I'm already amazed and blown away. And we are ready to kick off the afternoon. Wow, 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 what a lovely morning. If you want to relive this adventure, want to have the recipes and glimpse behind the scenes, or maybe you want to follow this competition without any interruptions, well, for the full live stream, go to worldchocolatemasters.com. And remember, this year's team is all about tomorrow. What will uh, the chocolate delights of tomorrow look, feel, and taste like? So maybe, dear uh, Mark and Julie, we should really keep that in mind that we also have a special team this edition. Eh? You're absolutely right. And this is what's so amazing about it. It's all about the innovations of tomorrow, as you say. And so we're discovering things. And I think we're counting We're ready for the next group. Ladies yes. and gentlemen. Four, three, three two, two, one. one. Woo! Start.
Yes, yes. Good luck to the second group of participants who will be working on their two assignment today. Luckily, I'm with Amaury Guichon, who's really heading the jury, a jury of 18 international professionals from also 18 different countries. So Amory, very nice having you here this edition. You. You're a real expert. I see you're doing amazing things on social media. So tell me, um, have you been blown away this morning? What have you seen? Um, I, I've seen a lot of nice things. Uh, I don't know if the, yeah, there, there you go. I've seen, I have seen a lot of nice things. One thing I really like is everybody was on time. So, this is also very important just because to be considerate of uh, everyone else's uh, work. Uh, I saw a lot of creativity. I like that they were able to include some of the specific of this session, which was uh, unconventional, not chocolate-related element in order to create their uh, pastry display. It used to be just a, a regular classic showpiece. Now it's were taking it to a different direction, and I love the fact that they were able to express their creativity, sometimes even putting like mechanical elements to their piece. Mm -hmm. So we were um, discussing a few moments ago how tough this competition mm. is, because actually you cannot practice. Yeah, you can practice a little at home, but tell me, what is the difference between doing it um, at home and then standing here in front of a jury, an audience, at Salon um, du Chocolat? It's very hard to anticipate everything that you might encounter from the heat, the different kitchen. Everybody who is talented can perform very well uh, in the comfort of his own uh, kitchen. Um, and now you're being taken out of your element and being put under pressure with the, the audience watching, with all the juries uh, looking with scrutiny. Uh, so I know the amount of pressure that they are under and, and, and it's another thing that they have to take into account when they prepare. Uh, so far, I think they are all doing very good and the temperature, thankfully, is pretty, pretty good to do chocolate. Yeah, is it too hot in here for the moment? No, I think it's perfect. Yes, yes. okay. For the, well, we haven't seen any collapsed chocolate yes, pieces. Yes, thankfully. So far, so good. What do you think about the, as you mentioned, it is a very nice experience creating that uh, shopping wall this year? Yes, have you been yeah, amazed I mean, it, by one in particular? Can you already share I, that? I've been amazed by, I said three, but I, I won't say any name. Oh, okay. That's I'm going to keep it close to the vest. <laughs> okay. What are you expecting from the second group of finalists? You know them a little bit better. Well, I, I hope it's going to be as, as good as the first uh, batch. Uh, I hope they also will be on time and be able to finish everything because th there is nothing more frustrating than planning for three years of preparation and, and being short on the delivery. At the end, and I think that's what I told them yesterday, uh, winning is, of course, it's the, the main goal, but if you are able to finish everything that you have planned and express yourself to the fullest, then you, it's a win for you, you should be satisfied. Then if someone was a little bit better than you, it doesn't mean that you didn't win for yourself. Wow, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Just <laughs> a small uh, reminder for myself and maybe for you too, dear viewers. So let's watch our contestants who are really busy and working on the first two assignment, which means that we are giving them some time to prepare. And then later this afternoon, we'll be back with some judgment of our juries and it will be at uh, 3 p.m. this afternoon, so see each other back uh, at uh, 3 p.m. Thank you.